Hello, this is Zé Cuchão from Twitter. Today we're going to talk about a little about the, the functionality of Prodigy Target Manager for the PlayStation 3. Um, it has several features for the, for the test kits. Uh, some of the most useful ones are the console outputs where, where you can see the logs you can see the logs here of the of the applications being executed and as well as uh, some of the of the logs of the operating system uh, then you also have a file explorer but this is limited to app home hdd0 uh, usb 000 and host root uh, but uh, if you have uh, uh, files uh, on HDD0 from uh, from an uh, undumped undumped uh, kit. You can just go here, for example, here on HDD0, and you can just go uh, to game, and you can download uh, a file a file from here. You can go here, and if I want, for example, to download param.sfo. Um, I'm, first I need to go here and then I need to set the file serving direc uh, directory to for example my desktop and also the home directory to my desktop and then I in, in theory if you go here and you double click it uh, let me see right click download and then it will let you choose where, where you want to download this file and you can choose for example the desktop and you put save and you can see here the status status succeeded the percentage of the download which is 100 percent and you can see that the source is dev hdd0 game uh, npab uh, 00150 uh, and it's saved to app home, C users, execution, uh, desktop, param, SFO. Um, then you have the file serving, you can just start the file serving and um, I, I believe this works as, a, as FTP but uh, I'm not sure exactly how it works but you can, you can, uh, you can uh, add files, you can remove files and all, all sorts of, of stuff. The, the image capture, you can start a, a manual capture or a, or a smart capture if you are uh, if your console is on debug mode uh, and then also the kernel explorer to, to, to see the, the memory of the, of the kernel uh, the most important one is the one where that shows the IP uh, for example, uh, I, I have the, the IP 192, 168.1.3 and I can just uh, re remove the IP, so I'm going to remove it. Uh, here if I want to search for a target, I just put 192.168.1.0 which is the initial IP and 192.168.1.255 which is the final IP and then I just click here and it will search all, all of this range from 0 to 255 and 192.168.1 and it will find all the, all the consoles that exist on my local network it found the, the 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 test kit. This is not exactly a test kit. This this is just a, a retail that has uh, has converted to DEX. You can just here and click right click and uh, add targets, and it, you will see it here. You can just connect after that, and it will say connected. Um, then. Uh, the, the, there, there are a multitude of options that you can just choose from here uh, for example system update uh, to do system update the, the reset mode must be, must be set in debug mode and you must click on reset and wait for the, for the console to be on debug mode uh, system software mode is if the, um, 
is if the console is on the main XMB and release mode is on the main XMB and behaving like a, a retail console. Um, you can choose to load and run an, an executable so if you have a, a signed executable it will work if you have a fake self it will also work but uh, if you have custom firmware most most stuff will work but if you have um, uh, system software 3.55 or below everything will also work you can also change the monitor settings you can just go here and to the monitor type you can put um, for example 1080p 60 Hz uh, or 720p and just go here put HDMI startup resolution you put uh, 1280 or 960 and 80 but you can just go here put 1080 uh, the HDCP in my case won't work because the um, the the kit is a, a converted kit so it will never work you need a special chip that only exists on uh, on test kits and dev kits for that and of course the option to, to reset the target or not um, there are more options for example the the BD emulator which is just uh, to uh, upload the uh, disk images, mount disk images, eject disk images or format. Uh, this works for uh, mostly for Decru 1000 that has a BD emulator dedicated HDD. Uh, then you have the power control which is uh, which has several options. The first one is switch power on. When this is powered off, you can just go here and power it on. Uh, you can also shut shut it down and sh and force shut it down uh, when it's not responding. Uh, this option is if you want to install a package. This option is if you want to format the hard drive. Uh, these options are for uh, serving the the files for testing a game. So the file serving directory, app home, and the home directory are for uh, for serving the files for a game. Uh, delete target just deletes the target. Uh, cancel operation uh, cancels uh, what what you are doing if it, it takes a, a very long time and set as default target sets uh, the the target that, that that you are using as default. Uh, the properties uh, part is just showing all of the properties of target manager and of the XMB and you can just. Uh, override XMB settings and you can just apply and it will reboot and it will apply those settings you can see all of the options here uh, internal internal target manager has a bunch of, uh, of more options for uh, DCR 1000 so not just these options show up a lot more show up but uh, it's reserved for internal target manager uh, the XMB settings and the, the, the target manager settings um, have, have a couple more uh, enabled that are uh, hidden, also the port changes uh, in the case of being um, uh, a test kit the port will be 1000 uh, but if you go here and you put a target you can see that uh, if you try to add a reference tool and you just put here the name which is the host name it will be uh, for example I think it's uh, 8530 so it is the, the default DECI port so this is this is for most most stuff um, the most important one is obviously the the file explorer one because you can you if you have a, um, an un undumped kit and you want to to, allow, to download the files you just go here to the dev hdd zero and you right click on game and you click on download and it will don download the entire game folder you can also use a custom firmware with uh, FTP for that but this this option is more simple because you can do this even on uh, even on uh, official firmware so it's more most viable um, 
and uh, that I think that's all for today I hope you guys enjoyed the, the tutorial and I will see you on the next video goodbye